Those moments are magical in film when we have, you know, a kind of a pure linear motion that approaches something and reveals it. But um, I'm interested in the stuff that gets in the way. With more and more and more questions, you create, in a sense, a productive kind of confusion. And I think that's what I'm after. I had a commission for Documenta, and they were also going to show this on TV. Um, I started to think about this kind of TV movie and this kind of notion of, you know, the kind of domestic interior that TV is all about, or at least for me, and the kind of middle class kind of obsessions of, you know, showing the family and showing the living room and showing, you know, the kind of dynamic uh, within a particular family. And I wanted to do it in the context of you know, a homecoming that is, you know, ostensibly or topically Germany's involvement in Afghanistan. Except for there isn't the kind of classical development. You don't reach a particular climax in a denouement. You have a, a repetition of these scenes and these places. It is increasingly formalized. And having TV as a sort of medium for, for showing the story sort of dictated a lot of choices that I made. You have two parents who are middle class, who are doing materially, you know, well, but something in their relationship is off. You know, there is a trauma, but it's not the trauma that you think it is. It's the trauma of emptiness. It's a sort of suburban desert. Uh, it's this kind of middle-aged uh, angst that these people have. And they try to fill it with something. And that thing is young flesh. Is irgendwas nicht in Ordnung? Du bist so merkwürdig still. Nun bring ihn mal. There's an empty hole in their relationship that they fill with a choreography. <laughs> they try to revisit this homecoming, this return of the sun, which never took place. Also, ich bin es gewöhnt, mit Männern zusammen zu sein, die also fast nur Männer. Sind da nur Männer in deiner Einheit? Heutzutage dürfen doch auch Frauen in der Armee, oder? And they pay these young men, who are male prostitutes, some money in order to come home and perform. Hast du alles unten gut gefunden? Mann, du schreist ja immer, wenn ich dein Zimmer aufräume. Soll ich schreien? Ist es das, was du wollt? Ich kann auch schreien, also. <lacht> These men who offer their flesh to these parents are, in a sense, also the, the sort of the young men whose flesh is used in order to do the state's bidding. You know, who do we ship off to do uh, our bidding in Afghanistan? Und ihn angefeuert und hysterisch gelacht. Bravo, the world keeps asserting itself in kind of strange and theatrical ways around them uh, in these, these little apparitions and these sort of uh, ghosts and uh, images that they have. You know, they become, in a sense, viewers of the spectacle of horror. Death should happen far away. You know, conflict should not happen in these particular comfortable surroundings. And so they, they're caught uh, between those two roles, being a soldier, being a son, and being an object of desire. Keine Sorge. Ich pass auf mich auf. It's good. But for me, the more interesting possibility was maybe there was never a son. Maybe there were sons and they're just gone and there's this vacuum in the end. They drive down this country road. We've seen that country road three times already. And all of a sudden, there is a camel walking towards them. 
and they follow the, the, this animal to a quarry. Inside is sons that we've seen up until that point. Their comrades, they're all dressed in fatigues and uniforms. They've been ambushed and they've been killed. Through having these multiple references, it becomes something that is able to talk about several things at the same time, and is none of them at any one time. It's about sort of figuring out what to put along the way to kind of pull you away from this notion that there is a linear story with a goal at the end. 